What's up guys? Today I'm here to talk about my abandoned ZR1 that I've never driven. Or maybe I shouldn't say never driven, but I've driven less than five miles. My C6, my Inferno Orange C6 ZR1. Before I start talking about the C6 ZR1, let me take you around my shop, show you my inventory for the day. If you guys had watched one of my old videos, you would know that I bought It's Just a Six's two favorite cars, and it's the ZL1 1LE and the Shelby Super Snake that's twin turboed. We have some nice inventory here at Sinister Auto Sales. We have the another ZL1 1LE heads cam um, and port a blower, a bunch of work to it. Bolt-on GTR with some nice Rohan wheels or Rohana wheels. The shop CTSV that's not for sale yet. Um, we're gonna probably drive that car this year. My Ruxin Green GT500, which is gonna be gone today, unfortunately, but you won't see that here in the video. Built ZL1 that goes low nines. Uh, GT500 carbon fiber track pack with signature wheels. Very nice AMP um, C7 ZR1 that's about 950 to the wheels, Sebring orange package. And then we have a heads cam ported blower Z06, Z07 package, comp seats, you name it, this car is loaded. It's actually going to a friend of mine. And uh, yeah, some super nice inventory. Check out my website, sinistershop.co. If you guys are looking for any kind of cool inventory or cool cars for your next performance car. Okay, now it's time to talk a little bit. Um, and without getting into too many details and saying things I really shouldn't say or trying to, um, I'm not trying to be malicious in the things that I'm going to be saying. I'm just going to give my experience. Um, the auto industry is in a little bit of a weird spot, um, especially with COVID. A lot of people were trying to get their builds done fast and different shops couldn't get parts. Obviously, a lot of delays on anything, lifters, um, delays on you know gaskets, anything like that. So there's delays on a bunch of different things. So if you guys remember in 2021, I had bought my Inferno Orange ZR1. I bought it completely stock um, and I took it to a local performance shop that I was uh, close with and I had to, you know, to get things done there. Car sat for a little bit. Obviously I had to wait my turn, um, waited my turn for the car to get uh, modified. Some things were done um, in a way that I wouldn't say it's bad, but not in the ideal uh, clean matter that I would want my car to be in, um, you know, due to the time frame on parts and stuff. The car sat for a while. With the car sitting, I just kind of lost um, like my love for it over time. Uh, the car had some, like I said, weird issues here and there that needed to be worked out and it wasn't getting the attention um, I thought it deserved. Um, granted, I was getting a uh, pretty good discount at the shop. So um, that being said, some people might say, yeah, you, uh, you know, you're a second choice because you're getting a discount. And some people might say, no, that shouldn't make a difference. Either way, um, I think it's worth waiting. Um, if you're gonna get a discount, I think it's well-deserved to the shop owner. So anyways, um, you know, I waited, I waited patiently for a lot of things and it just came, you know, to a point where I took the car out one day and I wasn't happy with it. Um, you know, it was, I did a mild heads cam build. So if you're familiar with Corvettes, um, heads cam, you know, upper pulley, stuff like that. Just wanted a cool little fun weekend race car. And if you guys remember my Cyber Gray ZR1, it was an insane build. Um, Dropping pistons and rods, it had a Kong 2650, 1000 wheel horsepower car, um, which is a lot of fun. It took it to Texas 2K. I blew it up at Texas 2K. Took it home, car sat for a while until I parted it out, put it back to stock and sold it. Um, that being said, I lost my love for the car. Um, it came to a point where I went out for an event last year sometime and uh, hung out with a few friends and came to the conclusion like, what do I do? Do I wait for the car to get done? Um, or do I take it to another shop, um, have it done there, pay full price and actually have the car? So I was outweighing things, right? So. You have this car that's worth a bunch of money, um, but it's not right. Um, that's, the car wasn't like messed up. It just, there was things that needed to be cleaned up, organized, and more reliable. So I wasn't happy with it. Um, that being said, uh, you know, it's time frame, parts, 
you know, there's other people's builds. Uh, I'm not gonna hold it to either of the shop owners. Every shop owner has a tough time. Um, and I didn't want to burn a friendship. So like I said, I was friendship with the shop and I just end up, you know, cutting my ties um, in a, I felt like a nice way and just took the car, took it somewhere else. Little did I know it was gonna take a lot longer than I thought. I waited about six or seven months till the car was actually touched due to the fact of, you know, parts delays, other customers' cars in the way. Um, but we're at this point now, you know, we're in 2023 and it's been like two years almost. I haven't had the car really home. I had it home once or twice in between all this until I take it back for, you know, different occasions and I'm finally gonna get the car back uh, and it should be hundred percent right. You know, being it's gonna be quote unquote race car, um, you know, Corvette C6s, I wouldn't say they're the most reliable cars. So anything can go wrong on it, but um, I'm finally gonna take it home. So I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna go to the shop, um, you know, it's on the dyno or just got off the dyno. I'm not exactly sure the status of it right now, but I'm gonna go pick the car up. So, you know, brought the trailer. Don't sound super excited. Cause like I said, I lost my love for the car. Um, you know, I was working super hard to try to buy the car in general, got the car and you know, it just got a weird feeling. Um, I try to keep my peace with everyone. I love, you know, everyone in the car industry. I try to be cool with everyone, not bash anyone. I try to be patient, but at the same time as I have my own deadlines and it's just tough when shops offer a service, but can't meet expectations. Um, but it's tough overall um, with the industry. So no hard feelings to anyone. I just, I'm a car guy, I want my cars right. You know, um, I'm a perfectionist, so I want my cars nice. But besides that guys, we're gonna head to the shop and we're gonna see my abandoned ZR1. Straight at CT had sent me those videos of the car, um, the dyno, you know, obviously the dyno video and then a walk around after. So I haven't seen it yet in person, um, actually in a few months. Obviously I came in and checked in every, you know, so often, but I'm finally gonna see the car and take it home today. So super, super, super good feeling for me. Um, just, I'm just excited to see the car in the garage. We're gonna pull up the CT right now here in a few minutes and check out the car in person and load it up, take it home. Looks like it's outside, ready to go, ready to come home. And there's actually, it looks like a, it's probably a regular Z06, but that's a nice um, Z06 with maybe even base and that uh, like ruby red. What up, dude? What? You don't want to be on YouTube? All the Just because you said no. You got a 10 amp? You? Yeah. No. no, not for me. On a courtesy, we're not going to go in there and look at other people's builds, but. Man, long awaited Inferno Orange with the Inferno Orange lid, of course. The bronze weld wheels, brand new rear tires. Man, this thing looks gorgeous. I got this uh, APR lower diffuser and uh, spoiler done too. Since the last time I had my other car, looks real nice with that. Corsa, like, I think I got like three and a half inch 
exhaust tips. Real nice carbon piece to match all the other carbon. I don't know why they didn't do that from the factory. The front lip has carbon down there and then follows along and then it goes to the back, which is normally plastic, but now has the carbon there. And the spoiler is nice because it matches the roof. It's a very similar weave too. Almost looks OEM. And then Inferno Orange, this is the reason these cars are so special. Look at that sparkle in the paint. This isn't the first cold start, but it's a, well not even cold, it's like 90 degrees outside. But this is a startup. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. First test drive is done. Can't wait to get it home and see it rot in the garage, at least uh, better in my garage than at the shop. Super excited to get it next um, to my new car. I'm not sure if I announced it yet or not, but it'll be home with it. So let's get it loaded in the trailer.
the car is strapped down, but we have one more thing to do, and that's we're meeting this guy named Jim. He used to be an engineer for GM, and what he does is he programs the magnetic ride control and the shocks and the ZR1s to how it should have came from the factory. He charges like, I think almost 500 bucks for it, but he gets it right. And what it does is it pretty much makes the cruising comfort suspension super soft, and it makes the sports suspension super aggressive to where how it should have came from the factory. It performs almost like a brand new car. Um, that being said, we're going up to his house here in Goodrich, Michigan, getting it done. And then I live about 30 minutes south and we're gonna drop the car off at my house. You guys already know what I bought because I'm gonna post this video after, but C701, C601, and my baby, my old school, I wanted it since I was 16. So all next to each other. I also got these super sweet plaques. The torch red zero one, the inferno orange zero one badge with the newer and then older and then the Shelby badge there. I'm gonna get it unloaded here. I'm super excited to have this thing home. Eagle has landed. Zero one is officially home. I'm so stoked. I don't sound like it. I'm not really like a super hype person. But geez, man, I'm excited to have this car in the garage. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, follow my business page, Sinister Auto Sales. Follow my personal page, my Sinister Lifestyle page. I post all my personal cars and some cool business stuff. Uh, give me your opinion on my C601. I've been waiting so long. And your opinion on the car industry and, you know, if I made the right decision on what I did. Uh, besides that, guys, give this video a like, comment down below. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.